Well, here we are again. We're on a 20 minute walk today. As you can see, the pub's pretty full there. Woo, waving. So this is the last 20 minute walk and then tomorrow we're going to a 30. So we're just going to add a little bit on. And I don't know if there's any boats coming, but we'll have a walk up here. I'll give you an update. So today is my two week anniversary since I had the heart bypass. So uh, this is two weeks after the operation and now we're walking 20 minutes. So let's see if this works. Oh, you didn't see them waving because I got the camera the other way. As you can see there, the pub is full. So uh, let me just flick the camera around. Yeah, you can see it's me. So I'll have to put my glasses on so I can see, I think. So yeah, we're going now an extra bit further to what you've seen before. And so I was hoping there'd be a boat here, uh, but there's nothing coming at the moment. And what I'll do, I'm going to walk to my uh, 20 minute limit, which I know where that is. And then I'll probably have a sit down up there, see if any boats come, then I might do another live. Uh, because people have been asking, does the drawbridge really go up? So, ooh, uh, this might be a, a bit windy. That's why I got my coat on, it's a bit windy. So, uh, I'm not sure whether this uh, volume will be any good. So, yeah, like I said, I'll just go through a couple of things. It's two weeks since I had the operation, so at this time... Two weeks ago, I would have been on the operating table. Uh, I think I came out around about six or, six or seven o'clock on the Friday night. And then into ICU, and then it's all gone from there. I'll say the rest of the story is on the operation page of the website. And at the moment, let's say for people who are having the op, I do seem all right uh, there are a few pains the main one I've got is one in the neck and up to the ear I think that might be how I've been sleeping because obviously sleeping on my back a lot of the time and then a few pains just in the the chest but considering there's a, a load of metal staples in there and that might have something to do with it but overall the uh, recovery is pretty good. Uh, occasionally I think three three afternoons I've had about an hour's kip. I went upstairs after my dinner today and I was a bit frustrated today because there's things I want to do that I can't do because I can't lift things. Uh, I've got some deliveries come and I can't just go out in the car and do the deliveries. So it's a bit of a frustrating day really because as you know, I like to get uh, deliveries done as quick as possible. So uh, we'll get them sorted over the weekend. So if you're waiting for something that you put an order in last week, hopefully by the weekend we'll have it done. Some people are collecting from me. So, uh, so yeah, so all looking good. Tomorrow we go on to 30 minute walks and I can have a 30 minute walk uh, something like five or six days a week so obviously I'll be uh, aiming to do a 30 minute walk for six days a week and I might have a, a rest day at some point I'm just gonna have a sit down here nice little wall so let me try and flick the camera so you can have a look down the canal that's where we just walked and this is still the same canal uh, these are the fields and if you can see the power cables there if you saw some uh, photos of helicopters I put on the website on my own website uh, a few weeks ago those are obviously the cables where the electric board were checking out let's uh, climb up here hopefully I don't drop the phone uh, we're actually on an aqueduct here there's the canal going over the road and at the side of the road is a river and this is a big 
aqueduct there, I'll take you over the edge. And, oh, we've got a car coming, so we'll watch this car go under the bridge. Oh, and a runner coming out, that's perfect timing. And then on one of the bigger walks, I might show you that from down below. So, yes, yeah, lovely day today. And I think on one of my longer walks, I can go a bit further up. This is the new towpath. They only did this the last few months. It was very lumpy and bumpy all the way up there, but they've uh, spent a bit of money, leveled that out so it's perfect for biking or walking and uh, that's it so so basically it's just carrying on as normal new routine new frustrations and the way i'm looking at it is that's one week since i came out so that's one week close to driving i feel as though i could drive um, but it's the danger is uh, that chest area uh, the sternum they say you've got to have a, at least six to eight weeks for that to heal properly so I'm gonna switch this off now if a boat does appear and the drawbridge goes up I'll uh, do another live so you can see it and if I can s see where to switch this off I would do Let's flick that right so you'll have to bear with me here a little bit of panic because I can't see how to switch this off. Put the glasses on. That uh, finished somewhere. I don't know whether it uh, finished halfway through or right at the end. Well I'm going to finish this now and post it. Let's say on the walk back it's the same route on the way back so you've seen all of that uh, but if a boat does appear I'll uh, get a video of that for you.